Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. Now this right here, what you see is two 11X devices. Both of them are Indian units. One is running 12.5.2 and one is running 12.5.3. Now, before we actually get into the video, I will let you know this straight off the bat that this is not a proper speed test. We're gonna compare things side by side. We're gonna compare the benchmark numbers and we're gonna share the user experience. So you can make a decision if you want to update or not, especially after, you know, Xiaomi has changed this update from being a stable update to a beta stable, which means you can no longer go ahead and update it manually if you're on a locked bootloader. All that is there in the video, but before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find the link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, now to the left, we have a Mi 11X Indian variant running MIUI 12.5.2. To the right, we have the same device running 12.5.3 Enhanced Edition. Now, we did this same comparison last time when we got this update in China and that video was really successful because a lot of people want to know what are the amount of differences that the Enhanced Edition brings to the table. So first things first, the version number over here, the version number over here, right? Now we will go to all specifications so that we can see what exactly is there. So let's go to about phone, let's go to all specs, let's go to all specs over here. Now, apart from the version number, you do see that the security update, the Android security update is the 1st of August and on this one is the 1st of May. So that's like a three month gap in the security update. Apart from that, you don't really have a lot of changes. The kernel is the same. Everything else is absolutely the same. Now, when you look at what's new on 12.5.2, you will see that there's not much that has changed. It's just some fixes for the notification uh, panel and stuff. But in 12.5.3 enhanced, it clearly says that it is an enhanced edition. I'm not gonna read out the entire changelog again to you guys. You can go ahead and pause the video and you can read it out if you want to see what are the changes in the enhanced edition, right? Now, those are the things which are there as far as the settings menu is concerned. Now, you will see that I have set both the devices to their default settings when it comes to the launcher. To the left, you do have app vault or you have your google feed so just to you know keep the comparison apples to apples let's go ahead and put google discover here as well right so we have google discover on both the sides as you can see so we are going to compare these things but one highlight comparison feature over here that you get is memory extension so to the left you have 12.5.2 as i said over here you don't see anything that is memory extension but over here, if you go, you will see that you do have the memory extension feature. Now, how much difference does it make to the performance? Does it add to the fluidity of the ROM just by enabling memory extension and stuff? It is yet to be seen because when you go to the you know, multitasking menu, you don't see the RAM as 8 GB instead of 6. So that itself you know, says a lot of things. But nonetheless, we do have all the system applications lined up over here one by one let's maybe launch them because we do have a benchmark comparison later as well and the idea of this video is not to make it too long all right so let's start with the weather widget over here pretty similar timings what about the clock pretty similar timings here as well gallery pretty similar timings play store yeah 12.5.2 opened it earlier how about assistant very very similar timings 12.5.2 did that earlier now we have folder access over here as you can see right the security application so most of the apps 12.5.2 is opening faster. That doesn't mean that 12.5.3 is slower. It could also mean that they have relaxed the animations a little bit to give you a better, more smoother experience. And as far as the security app version is concerned, 
12.5.2 has 5.4.2 and this has 5.5 so a updated security app is available you do have get apps which we will open right so pretty similar timings and then you have the cleaner there you go now let's open the phone application okay again 12.5.2 taking the cake there messages application so for some reason 12.5.2 is opening most of the things quicker let's talk about the camera application yeah once again 12.5.2 does it better now we are talking about the features over here have a look you don't have anything new at all everything is still the same you do have the tile ui which you can go ahead and use so no new features in the camera application at all and as i mentioned in my previous video as well Xiaomi have clearly stated that this is not a feature packed update this is a update which will give you better performance now let's have a look over here okay now we are going to talk about the enhanced addition and what changes it brings to the table now if you the reason i'm doing this over and over again you do have this feature in youtube wherein you can slow the video down if you considerably slow the video down to half the speed you will notice that the smoothness is better on the right side phone which is 12.5.3 enhanced edition that is one thing over here right at the same time let's have a look at the app animations okay yep pretty much the same but i think it's slightly better on 12.5.3 now let's talk about the ram management over here let's go to the first application that is our weather pretty much the same experience no problems at all at the same time this whole multitasking menu absolutely looks the same now let's go ahead and talk about the volume panels over here okay now in 12.5.3 enhanced to the right you see you do get a separate slider which is not there in 12.5.2 so that is one change that they have made if you look over here slide to set timer you can set the timer for dnd so that is there and apart from this if you press and hold the power button the blur effect is slightly ever so slightly different not a major major difference there so you know when you talk about the ui elements the animations the enhanced edition does have a few changes but it is not a game changer for someone who uses their phone for basic tasks each and every day now let's talk about the benchmark numbers because that is what is interesting all right now let's talk about the cpu throttle test to the left we have miui 12.5.2 right the performance score average was 222,512 gips to the right we have 12.5.3 enhanced average score 226,949 gips now that is around a difference of 4500 this throttle to 95 percent and this throttle to 93 percent now if you ask me this comparison is within the margin of error so you know this is not conclusive you can't really really say that you know the enhanced edition has made a huge difference now let's go to antutu here on both the devices real quick as you can see 669,686 on 12.5.2 and 675,053 on 12.5.3 Again, this is a difference of around 5,000. Again, I don't think it is less than 10%. So it's not conclusive. Let's go to Geekbench now, the last benchmark application. And let's see if that actually gives us any answer. So let's go to history over here and let's go to history over here as well. So 12.5.2 was 977, 12.5.3 was 979. And 12.5.2 multi-core was 3267 and this was 3299. So, you know, Geekbench, one of the applications which I trust the most, is giving us almost similar results. So, you won't see a lot of difference in the benchmark numbers. Apart from memory extension, you will not see any new features. I do feel that the battery life on 12.5.3, for me at least, is pretty decent, if not amazing. Let's, let's talk about today's, you know, battery usage for me. For example, I have this on battery for five hours and 49 minutes and i've had three hours of screen on time i still have 43 percent battery and i have been traveling so for me the battery life is pretty decent it can get me through a day easily but so does 12.5.2 so 
12.5.3 enhanced brings a lot of new things to the table it makes your phone smoother it makes your phone run better definitely yes but if you're expecting new features if you're expecting higher benchmark numbers you're going to be disappointed we've not done a gaming comparison of these two roms because i haven't been able to play games on these two phones for the last two to three days but if you want to see a side by side gaming test comparison let me know in the comment section until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye